The 07 to 13 Chevy Silverado is one of the best trucks in the world. I used to have one and I loved it. This guy has driven 143,000 miles on the world's worst headlights, the original halogen bulbs. This is the best bulb to upgrade to. This is the GTR Lighting Ultra 3 bulb. It's the brightest in the world, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install it on your vehicle. The third generation of the popular GTR Lighting LED bulbs provide even more darkness-destroying output than ever before. Unlike its competitors, every aspect has been carefully considered resulting in a multifaceted masterpiece that leaves no detail behind. It's equipped with custom LEDs. It's a powerhouse that ensures unparalleled performance, while its optimized positioning guarantees efficient light distribution, eliminating the wastage. GTR Lighting is committed to building a durable LED bulb. It's 100% potted and waterproof, ready to conquer anything. It's also super compact with an internal driver, providing 4,700 lumens of luminosity output with effortless installation. It's also backed by a lifetime warranty. It's a bulb that outshines and outlasts the competition. Just remember, LED headlight bulbs are not street legal in the USA, and we advise you to not drive with these installed on public roads. In off-road settings, these are fine to use, but using bulbs this bright on the street may be uncomfortable to other drivers. 13 years ago, when I upgraded my own bulbs from Headlight Revolution, I had a looming problem, and that was fitment. Very few bulbs would actually fit inside of here because there's this metal brace on the back side, I'll show you in just a second, that won't allow you to get a bulb in here. You need an H11 bulb, but some of those H11 bulbs for your low beam right here are very big. The base is super large, not anymore with the GTR Lighting Ultra 3 bulb. It actually fits. You can cram your hand in there. It's a lot easier than others, and you don't have to pull the whole grill and remove the headlight to get it to fit. That is a plus. If you're going to upgrade the high beam as well, let's right down here. This is a 9005 bulb. This entire headlight housing is a reflector-based headlight housing, and it's really easy to get a bulb in here that would fit, but isn't very good. It'll scatter the light all over the place and give you a pathetic beam pattern. That's the last thing you want. So what I'm gonna do is now install it. I'm gonna put low beam on here, show you that is the benchmark, and then I'm gonna do the Ultra 2 bulb, the bulb that came out years ago from GTR Lighting, and then the Ultra 3. I'll be using a digital lux meter to find the actual usable brightness at the brightest point on the wall. I'm gonna back this thing up 10 meters from the wall and go from there. Now this is what your stock low beams look like on your 07 or 13 Chevy and right off the bat, you're gonna notice this terrible color. Yes, we do not like the halogen color and it is not even close to bright. I only measured 183 maximum lux at the brightest point on this wall. I have definitely seen fog lights much brighter than this. It was trash, it is trash, and years ago, we were able to blow this out of the water with the GTR Lighting Ultra 2 bulb. We measured 428% brighter in this test, so the Ultra 2 bulb that came out years ago was 967 maximum lux. Compared to 183, that was amazing, but obviously, GTR Lighting went one step further and made this bulb. The Ultra 3, I measured 1,854 maximum lux on low beam. That's 913% brighter, but it's a controlled brightness. It's not scattering it all over the wall here. It is 913% brighter. That is insane. High beam, obviously it's going to do better as well. Your original high beam, I measured 632 maximum lux in this test. The Ultra 2 was 2,251 maximum lux, which was 256% brighter. On high beam is where the Ultra 3 really shines. When you hit that high beam, it punches that light far down into the distance when you're driving on the road. It's 4,370 maximum lux. So in this test on high beam, I measured 591% brighter on high beam. It just goes to show you that GTR Lighting stepped it up for their Ultra 3. When you compare the Ultra 2 to the Ultra 3, you'll also notice a color difference. It's a little more of a warmer light for the Ultra 3, and it's just more comfortable when you're driving long distances. Isn't it wild that you get that much light improvement by simply changing the bulbs? We don't have to replace the whole housing here. All you gotta do is upgrade your bulbs to get a dramatic improvement of light. Now, if you don't need help installing it, because all you gotta do is reach your hand in, turn your bulb counterclockwise, put this one in. If you don't need help installing it, go to Headlight Revolution right now, get your set. They are selling out super fast, and every single time we get another order, they sell out. 
So go to Headlight Revolution right now to get your set today to upgrade the lighting on your Silverado. If you did need help with the install, this is how you do it. Simply pop your hood and then reach down. We're going to start on the driver's side. The top bulb is your low beam bulb. We're going to turn it counterclockwise, pull it away and disconnect it from your OEM connector. And then we're going to connect your new Ultra 3 bulb and then reach your hand in there, turn it clockwise and you're good to go. Lock it in place. For high beam, reach down, turn your bulb counterclockwise, pull it away, disconnect your OEM connector, grab your Ultra 3 bulb, connect it and then lock it back into place. The passenger side, you do have this air box. It's really simple. Just pull it up and you can push it out of your way if you really want to disconnect it and remove that collar and then pull it completely off your vehicle. You can do that. Pull it up and you have all the access to change your bulbs. The last thing you want to do is just leave this bulb installed something like this. It's going to bounce off of the inside of that headlight housing and then go down the road and blind oncoming drivers. That is not what we want. We want this bulb to sit exactly like this where the LED chips are shooting out horizontally, bouncing off those mirrors exactly where they need to be. It is very important to align your bulb. GTR lighting made it super easy. All you got to do is take this included Allen key here and we're going to just put it in just like this. Just loosen it up. You don't even have to remove this collar anymore. It's super easy. So we're going to loosen it up and now this collar is going to be able to be moved. Just going to have to try it a few times. Lock it back down. And now when you install your bulb, you lock it in place. It should sit just like this with the cord down. That's all it takes to get it fully installed properly. Now, if your truck is raised or lowered, it's really important to align the height of these properly. So all you got to do is take a Phillips screwdriver, go to the top of the headlight housing. You could turn this counterclockwise or clockwise to raise up and lower your light output. Last thing you want to do is blind oncoming drivers. If you really want to see exactly how we do this, check out the other video where we go in depth in aiming your headlights. Look, your truck's going to run forever. You might as well upgrade the headlights. You don't have to replace the housing to have a good time. You don't have to spend a million dollars to have better lights. All you got to do is have a few hundred bucks, 10 minutes of your time, and you can dramatically increase your nighttime driving experience. This is Headlight Revolution, where we test lighting for your Silverado every single day for over a decade. Go to headlightrevolution.com today. Check out everything we've tested for your vehicle.